This was a terrible idea. Do you think I look pretty this morning? Yeah. Do you think I look beautiful though? Yeah. You could just tell him to um, send me a picture of the receipt. That would be great. First of all, this morning, my son stayed at his grandma's last night. So that's a whole three-year-old's worth of drama not in this video. I woke up with a sore throat, so I sound like Gilbert Godfrey. And three, my husband was here for the first part of the morning, which it never happens. It's usually just me by myself. So at first, so I was like, no, I'm not going to film it because it's like not an accurate portrayal of like what a day in our life is like. Um, but then I just decided, screw it. We're just going to work with what we have. Because I said that I would record today. And today is the day that I said I was going to record. Alright, we got to leave. We got to go. Why are you trying on wigs? <laughs> Good morning. Why is your pajamas ripped all the way off, babes? Ready to go to, uh, sis, you ready to leave the house is what I'm trying to say. Come on, Chloe. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and get a pen. I should have checked the folder last night. This is my fault. I check it every night. The last night we had music class and then I had to do 80 million invoices for work. And so, excuses. We're late, we are so late. And I'm not wearing a bra. I'll be right back. She needs $3 for the field trip. I picked a terrible morning to do this. We are gonna be late. So late. I do this to myself. If I woke up earlier and I left earlier and I had a better routine, I wouldn't be such a crazy lunatic. I don't like routine. They feel too routine-y. That sounds like a delicious pasta, routine-y. There's all the parents who got their kids to school on time. Good job, guys. Hello. Thank you. Pedal to the metal. You just knock and like hope somebody sees you. Happening right now? How does somebody see you? There's nobody around. Oh, somebody saw. That doesn't make me feel like a crappy mom. So embarrassing. Like, hi, I'm a failure. Here's my daughter. Have a good day. Okay, so that's over. She got to class. We're late. There's nothing I can do about it. She hasn't been late at all this year. So it's fine. I'm going to move on. So at this point, usually, I would be taking Caden to school. But he wasn't home last night. So now what I'm probably going to do is go check my P.O. box. Smile. Chloe, Chloe, stop. <laughs> what? There's something else in there. Are these mine? I think so. Mommy's excited and wants to open a present. And it is from um, Miss Pelchar. Pelcher. Going to hope and pray that this is not actually Nair. Smells good. It's homemade coconut shampoo. The last name is Crockett. A joke about Davy. Don't make a joke about Davy. Don't make a joke. Haters gonna hate. Keep doing you. Okay, girl. Okay. I don't know who you are, but I like you. No. Your blogs help me through. No. <gasps> Please don't stop writing. You do make a difference. Warmly, Jen. Jen. I have goosebumps. Can you see them? Thank you so much. Chloe, we are having a moment, Jen and I, 
Anyway, thank you so much, Jen. And thank you, Angie, for my goodies. It really means a lot to me, you guys. Thank you. I'm going to the dollar store to get a selfie stick. Oh my gosh, there is one left. If that isn't fate, I don't know. Gonna be. Oh my God, I have it on high. No! Everything's fine. You like your eggs well. Well done, right? Okay, we gotta say grace. Thank you for our food, our friends, and our family. Amen. Mama. <laughs> My boss wants me to do some billing stuffs real quick, so I'm gonna do that. And then the cloister and I are gonna get dressed because I have to go make invitations for Aubrey's birthday party, please. And I'm getting the billing together right now. Chloe. Please, this is not good. Come on, we gotta get dressed. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna wear some LuLaRoe today because I don't wanna suck in. Guys, we have a problem. I can't find Chloe anywhere. Chloe, where are you? Oh! Chlo Please stop flushing the toilet, honey. Stop flushing the toilet. Please. Sweetie, we don't need to bring wipes with us. <laughs> Come on. Are you excited to walk? Yeah. What are you doing? Can you stay here though while mommy tries to figure her life out? Chloe. Chloe. That's for employees. I have no idea what I'm doing. Chloe, have you been here for an hour? Oh, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Chloe, no. I know, it's so cute, honey. I love you, but we're not paying $20 for a stuffed animal. Come on, this way. Listen, something's wrong with this machine. Stop. And uh, I can't make a... I wanted to make cool, fancy invitations with, like, her picture and stuff. But the machine hates me, and we need to get these out. I wasn't even going to do the invitation. Someone else was, but... Um, <sighs> come here, walk this way, baby. But I got to get them out. So I'm just going to buy regular invitations. And hopefully in 20 years she won't remember that... Uh, that I ruined her birthday by regular old invitations. Chloe, come on. We gotta find invitations. <laughs> that is a baby. Okay. You giving him a hug? That's sweet, baby. You're kissing? Oh, aren't you so sweet? <laughs> Come on, baby. I love you. Can you say, I love you? You're tired? Yeah. You want to go night-night when we get home? Yeah. Do you want to build a spaceship? Yeah. Do you want to eat dog food? Yeah. <laughs> You're just saying it. Oh, here we go. How many's in here? Jesus. How many's in here? Ten. Damn it. Fine. I'll spend ten dollars. Target.
Look, I want to show this to you guys because I try really hard to get back to as many people as I can. Um, and for example, last night on Snapchat, I got this message from a, someone who wrote me a message on Tuesday, a really sweet message. And then on Wednesday, left me a follow-up message that was like, dang, I was at least hoping a quick, you would give me a quick little reply back. I'm not trying to become your best friend and take up too much of your time. It's funny how people get famous and forget where they came from and all this stuff. These are my messages from just Tuesday. Okay. I get a lot of messages and most of them are really, really long and heartfelt of people sharing their stories with me and their own struggles with addiction. We're still on Tuesday. Like this is one day's worth of messages. And there's Monday. But the point I'm trying to make is take it easy on me if I can't get right back to you. I wouldn't change a damn thing. I love every second of it. But if I don't write back to you, it's not because I don't love you. It's just because my brain literally could not handle all of that at one time if I tried. Currently working on writing something for my blog. Um, I asked you guys what you wanted to hear about and some of you said childhood, some of you said random stuff. So I just went with childhood for now and I think I'm gonna post something about um, a couple of experiences from when I was a kid. Because this has been the most chill day I have had in so long. Apart from being late from school was super chill. My work phone hasn't been blowing up like it usually does all day. Chloe's been pretty well behaved. Like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, don't even have to bend over. Yeah, that's happening. Hello. Thank you. Have a good day. I'm vlogging. Yeah. All the cool kids are doing it. We are going to uh, Gammy's because you are going to have a sleepover with Aunt Stat. Miss Chloe here spilled water all over herself, so now I have to take her into Caden's school naked. Yes. No. I, no. I, no. 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 Okay, lose the tude. I'm in no mood. Dude, I got Dr. Seuss over here. Oh shit! That was almost an accident. See you looking so fresh today. Okay. She's probably like, "Why is that old lady trying to use cool hip lingo?" Can I say looking fresh at 31, or is that? Has that ship sailed? Love your home. You love my home? Yeah. This is our home, baby. Mommy, Chloe, you got a pine comb? Mommy. Awesome, mommy. Um, I don't, I broke, Don't drop. <laughs> I broke. 
Oh, you walked into a spider web. It's okay. Come on, this it's okay. They're just bugs. They live here too. Oh, Why? Thank you. I needed that. Why the bugs? Bugs are good. Why? I, I'm not sure, really, honestly, if I'm being honest, but I know that there is a reason that they're on Earth. I haven't figured it out, but I just remember that the Dr. Phil episode that my sister and I were in the audience for recorded today. So I'm gonna go watch it and see if you could see us. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Hey, hey, I know that girl right there. <laughs> hey, that's my sister. Mama, look at Big Mama. Wait, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, 15 minutes of fame, here we come. Yes! Look at my face, like, yes! I love you, Phil! Hey! <laughs> We're gonna cut, cover these bad boys with some parchment paper and pop them in the oven. Guys, listen, this is what we're not gonna do. You gotta do payroll. Um, I get all the guys' hours together and cut their checks. And then tomorrow I'll meet up with them and get their checks. Chloe! This is gonna take like a couple of hours probably, counting interruptions from the children and dinner. Love these, they're delicious. Um, Mama, why Chloe have pay? Same thing as you. What? My really poop. You went poop? Yeah, in my pot. You poop in my pot. You're supposed to be pooping in the potty, son. Why? Because that's where big boys go poopy is in the potty, not in your pull-up. Chloe, quit shoving goldfish in your diaper and put your diaper back on. Chloe? Put your diaper back on. Kaden, let's change your diaper. I'm never going to do this. Nothing. I've got my dream board here in my closet so I can look at it every single day. I believe that um, wanting something to happen is not enough. You have to live it and breathe it. Kaden, mommy's having a uh, motivational speech. So if you could keep the daddy finger song to a minimum. I know your legs are all blue. Wanting it is not enough. You gotta speak it into it. love Lucas and Kaden. You have to speak it into existence. You have to live it, eat it, breathe it, sleep it. You gotta think about it all the time. Whatever it is that you want, whatever goal you're trying to accomplish. But anyway, I've got stuff on here like, um, I'm gonna get a book. Do you wanna see my very favorite part of this dream board? Look, see this? This is the comfort zone is right. Kaden, can you please stop singing that song for one second? Just give mommy one second. Because I'm doing something so cool. The comfort zone is right here. And all of this stuff is just outside of it. So if you can be brave enough to just step outside of your comfort zone, you can achieve any of these things. It's true. I am proof.
Sing your song? Yeah. Okay. I love you, baby. And if it's quite alright, I need you, baby. <laughs> to all my lonely nights, you I love you, go. baby. I love you, baby. And it's quite alright, I need you, baby. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Chloe <laughs> found the ball. Oh, you want to hug too. Hey, good night, everybody. I love you. Sweet dreams, babies. Where? <gasps> I was just in here. So was you.